My name is Vyazu. I'm a pro Apex player and experienced coach. Today I'm going to run you through all the necessary steps so that you can run 4-3 stretch res in Apex Legends Season 11. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So first things first, we need to create a custom resolution in the NVIDIA control panel. To do this, you go to your desktop, we're going to right click, we're going to be using uh, NVIDIA control panel today. I have an NVIDIA card, a 1070 in my computer at the moment. And so for Radian, I'm not sure how to make a custom resolution, but I'm sure the steps are pretty similar. We're going to jump into NVIDIA control panel and we're going to locate the change resolution tab. In here, we want to scroll down and create the custom resolution. So we go customize. You can see there I've already made the resolution for myself as I currently play 4-3 stretch trays, but you need to click enable resolutions not exposed by the display. This needs to be clicked. We need to go into create custom resolution and in this tab we are going to create the resolution. So it'll be 1440 by 1080p. You don't have to change anything else. Um, this works just fine. You can go test. Great, so I've already got one. It's gonna test it um, and it's gonna let you close the window. You'll see that the resolution will be here, right? And it's gonna be at the top. So you just go, okay. And now because you have this custom resolution as a resolution that is runnable on your computer, you've created it to your NVIDIA control panel. It should be able to pick that up in game. So that's the end of the first step. So next step, we're gonna go straight to your video config file and change the settings there. Go to my computer, open up your file, C drive, users, your username, saved games, respawn, apex, local. I will have this location in the description below, but there we get to it now and we go to our video context file. I have a bunch of other stuff, don't worry about that. These are previous game states that I have saved. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure this is not ticked to read only. We want to untick this, right? You can put that back later if you'd like it. Basically, that just stops the game from rewriting the file live when you change a setting in game um, so that you can launch at the same settings every single time. So I would recommend changing this to read only after we've done this step. Open up the file. As you can see here, we got all of our in-game settings from the video tab. We can go ahead and look down to default res and default res height. You can see I've already set it to 1440 by 1080, but yours might be, you know, 1920 by 1080 here at a 1080p res native. So what we want to do is we want to change this top number to 1440, which is the stretch res, and by 1080. Perfect. Everything's cool. I will have my video config linked in the description below for download, um, as well as a few other details, but there we go. So we save this, save, and we exit out. You wanna just set this to read only, right? Perfect, go to our Steam. This is the second last step to make sure it's correct. We want to go into our Apex Legends, properties, and add this line here it will be down in the description below you need that command line and you need to put it in your launch options don't worry about you know my presets over here max fps high dev and auto exec um, those are preference you don't need them go ahead and close out we're going to go ahead and launch the game now so once your game has launched the last step to make this work is you need to press Alt and Enter without going through this screen here. You need to do this every single time the game launches. Every time you're gonna play Apex, you need to Alt Enter, otherwise it will not stretch to your full resolution that you'd like, your stretch res. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Alt Enter once, which is the Alt and the Enter keys together. It's gonna take it into a window mode. And we're gonna go and press that again to get that back into full screen. Now by doing this, it stretches to the full screen and you can go into game and it'll be stretch res. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a like, a comment, 
and even hit the sub button. It would really mean a lot to me. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for being here.